Hi everyone, it's me, Moonlight Guidance. I hope you are doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's coming through for you. And this is for all signs. So if you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you. And also if you ever wanted to um, purchase any personal services, readings, items, rituals, there are thousands of five-star reviews um, on everything that I offer. It's always on shopmoonlightguidance.com and linked down below. There's personal readings with me, rituals for love, money, marriage, career, success, healing, beauty, justice, black magic removal, etc. And also intention items which are handmade meditated with and saged okay so let's have a look see what's coming through for the reading and what messages i can give to you i'm gonna grab this deck of cards which has got lost in another deck of cards there we go i just cleansed and saged those so let's have a look and see what is coming through for you this resonates with you don't forget to um, subscribe and like the reading and comment down below as well so i feel like there is someone being very 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 um closed off to you they're not really talking to you they're not really saying much or doing much i can definitely sense that there is distance between you and this person we have here the hermit which is this hiding in their own shell kind of energy and we have here the page of cups which shows that uh you know, there's still a bit of optimism in this situation. I don't feel like everything is completely lost. I don't feel like everything is completely gone. I still feel like there is the ability for something to take place here. And I also see as well the Two of Cups. This person does have genuine love towards you. This person does care about you. Um, but they're really keeping to themselves because they don't want to come across as vulnerable. They want to come across as exciting. They want to come across like they've got their life together. They don't want to come across as vulnerable. And so I feel here that, you know, they might not be saying as much or doing as much, but it's not because they don't like you. It's not because they don't care about you, but it's because they themselves are feeling really, really down right now. I'm picking up some energies of de yep, depression, um, sadness, um, feeling really overwhelmed, feeling very chaotic, and just feeling very sad. So I just feel here as well that the Eight of Cups shows that they're just feeling quite down right now. They're not feeling like themselves. Um, they're going through a phase right now where they just feel super, super sad and very sort of just not like themselves. And it's normal, right? If you think about times where you feel sad and it just kind of comes out of nowhere, um, I think that can help you to sort of understand their perspective as well. Sometimes you just feel sad out of nowhere. You can feel emotional out of nowhere. You can cry out of nowhere. And they're just feeling like that, but they don't like to share that, right? They like to keep it to themselves. They don't like to tell everyone like, oh, by the way, I'm feeling really sad today. So, you know, there is that. They will communicate with you by themselves when they are ready. I think that's the most important thing that I can really tell you, okay? yeah they will communicate with you naturally by themselves even with the nine of cups here i really sense that everything will come together i know that sounds like so vague like don't worry guys everything comes together everything will come together okay like literally everything comes together it will flow beautifully it will progress beautifully nine of cups is again things moving in the right direction and a wish manifesting I really feel here with the Ten of Swords, again, they're feeling depressed, sad, emotionally exhausted. And that will change. Like, that really will change. They're going through a phase. They will come to you by themselves. What they will realize, actually, during this time, especially with temperance, is how patient you have been with them. You have not told them to get themselves together. You've not called them out on their behavior. Um, you know, sometimes it's okay to tell a person how you feel, okay? It's absolutely okay. But because they have not been feeling great and they've not wanted that pressure, because you don't then put more pressure on them, it makes them feel closer towards you, it makes them feel more drawn towards you. It makes them feel like you respect them 10 times more, that you appreciate them 10 times more, and that you love them 10 times more. It makes them feel like, wow, you've respected my wishes. You've respected what I need. You've respected me. And when you respect a person, Oh, it just makes them feel closer towards you. It makes them feel more drawn towards you. It makes them feel like you are everything, you know? So actually, what I think is really significant here is that their feelings for you have changed and become stronger. What they're going through is different, okay? What they're going through is their own personal emotional things, but you giving them space and time and sort of being in the background, you know, just kind of being you and doing you and perhaps even supporting them through this and not necessarily needing things from them, right? 
you're not like going to this person being like, I need you to communicate with me every day. I need you to do this. I need you to commit. I need you to, you know, you're not doing all of that. And that makes them respect you 10 times more, which actually has made their feelings grow stronger towards you. They feel closer towards you. They feel more towards you than they have ever felt towards anyone else. But also they feel more towards you now because you've respected them. You've given them space. And they now understand that if they are ever going through a really difficult moment in their life, that you will be there. Even if you're in the background, you will be there without pressure. You will be there with loving support. You will be there allowing them to be themselves. And that is something that has drastically changed their feelings because in the past, they always thought like, oh, a relationship just has to be easy. But what they haven't dealt with is a person being respectful when they are feeling their worst. Because when they feel their worst, people just want things from them all the time. And because you haven't done that and because you've been so kind and loving and caring, it's made them feel closer towards you. It's made them feel more drawn towards you. It's made them love you more. It's made them appreciate you so much more. So their feelings have drastically changed because of that love and support. Even spiritually, people can feel it. You don't have to tell a person anything. You can literally just exude energy and people can feel that energy. They can start thinking about you just based on your energy. And that's the thing. They start to see you as this really positive light in their life that they don't want to let go of because you've been the light when they felt the dark. And they will realize that, you know, in, in life there is light and dark. And sometimes when you are at your darkest, not everyone is there for you, but you have been. And that makes them feel like they can't let go of somebody like you. They can't be without you. Okay? Two of swords. It's, it's exactly that. Okay? Two of swords. It's not that they were ever confused about you. They were confused about themselves. And now they are more sure about you. What they are going through makes them more sure about you, okay? So this distance and space and time, you might think to yourself, oh my God, oh my God, they're not going to come forward, they're not going to do this. The distance and space and time makes them grow fonder towards you. It makes them love you more. It makes them appreciate you more. It makes them realize what they are missing out on and just how amazing your energy is when they are feeling their worst. That you are supportive. You're not telling them like, oh, get yourself together. You need to emotionally express your feelings to me. You need to be this. You need to be that. You need to be la di da di da No, no. You just appreciating them, loving them, caring about them makes them feel more towards you, makes them feel more drawn towards you, makes them, uh, makes them feel like, wow, you appreciate me and you are there for me. Okay, so we've got here the nine of wands and also the high priestess they feel closer towards you. They feel like you are that loving light and that loving force that they need in their life. You will literally feel like, wow, you are so, you know, you are so thoughtful. You are so loving. You are so giving. You are so caring. You are always there for me. That's what they feel towards you, right? Their feelings become stronger. They feel like you are just, you're on it. You're there. You're present. You're just the person that they need, you know, is what they start to feel towards you, is how they feel more connected to you. And that is something that makes them feel even more drawn to you and even more uh, loving towards you. So throughout this emotional roller coaster, they come to a significant conclusion, and that conclusion is that they don't want to be away from you. So everything that's happening right now is putting the trajectory and the path towards success in the connection between you both to then allow things to move in the right direction. You don't have to do anything right now, actually. You just have to be yourself. I do also have the break no contact ritual as well, if anyone's ever interested. That allows them to also come to you and bring contact and communication towards you, especially if it's been a bit more of a longer road. But what I really see is that things in time will come together between you both. And I do, of course, have lots of rituals for love, money, marriage, career, manifest a specific person, that for them to express their feelings to you, for them to be supportive and consistent towards you, and lots of other rituals which can really help the situation as well. It works on also healing your energy so that they can come forward. And basically, there's also personal tarot readings on my uh, website as well. If anyone ever had personal questions, they want to get answered by me. And there's also, of course, intention items which have thousands of five-star reviews that are handmade, meditated with, and saged. Everything's always looked down below for your convenience but it's only a matter of time before they come okay and it's honestly it's an epiphany that comes right where they realize wow you've been there for me in the darkest moments or at least you've been there in the background and you've not put a pressure the thing here is that when they feel their worst people put pressure on them people expect them to be just perfect and great and wonderful and because you haven't put that pressure on them it makes them feel more connected to you it makes them feel like i need you in my life 
this is the kind of support and love and understanding I need in my life and that makes them feel close towards you, makes them feel more uh, loving towards you, makes them understand you a lot more, makes them feel like you are my person, like I have to be around you, I want to be around you, I want to make things work, I want to I want to have and build a life with you and that's what they start to feel is that I need to do this with you, I need to make things work with you, I need to be with you and that's what I see. So yeah, this is your reading and uh, beautiful to see, absolutely beautiful to see um, in that sense but their feelings get stronger towards you because of your energy towards them in the sense that you are just there in the background, you're living your best life and you're just not putting pressure on them which makes them feel closer towards you for sure so that's what i see here if this resonates with you don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below okay the affirmation for this reading is there is a drastic change so comment that down below there is a drastic change that's the affirmation for your reading and i also have as well tiktok and instagram i post short readings on there every day moonlight.guidance on instagram moonlight guidance on tiktok and i'll see you all very soon if you want to follow me on there feel free to do so and i'll see you all very soon bye